Expert Detectives, Part 1. He does not look anything like Monster. But did you see how thin he is? Maybe he is very poor and cannot afford to eat. He can't be poor if he is a crook on the run. He has probably got millions of rupees stashed away somewhere in that room. Do you really think he is a criminal Maya? He does not look like one. Of course he is one seven. And he certainly is not starving. Mr. Mehta told us that Ramesh brings his meal up from the restaurant downstairs. But Maya, Mr. Mehta told us he does not work anywhere so how can he possibly have money to pay for food? Exactly. He must have lots of money hidden somewhere, maybe in that trunk in his room, it's probably full of silver and gold and jewels. What rubbish? I know I am right, stupid. I told him, by the way Seven did you see his scars? I could not it was too dark. But I bet he got him during the shootout with the police or something. Mummy told us quite clearly they were burnt scars. Perhaps the police had to set his house on fire to force him out. On Monday following Mummy's birthday Seven went along with her to the clinic at Girgaon. As I was spending the evening with school friend. I had been to see Mr. Nath and I felt most annoyed that I had not been there. I am very upset about Mr. Nath Grant's appearance and sure that he was starving. He told me that he had knocked loudly on Mr. Nath's door that evening. I knocked the door and said open the door quickly Mr. Nath. Mr. Nath opened the door and asked my brother Seven. Did you lost another marble? My brother say, no, and give a bar of chocolate in his hand. Did you get a chance to pick into the trunk Seven? He did not even ask me in. But I did find out something, Maya. Good for you Mr. Detective. I went down to the restaurant where Ramesh walks and talked to him. I takes two meals for Mr. Nath every morning and evening, and two cups of tea, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. But I am not very particular about what he eats. It's always the same food, two chapatis, some dal and a vegetable. He pays cash and tips well. Something else. Almost every Sunday, I carries to lunches to Mr. Nat's room, and the same man is within each time. He is tall, fair, stout and wears spectacles. He talks a lot, unlike Mr. Nat or hardly speak. Well done, Nishad. We will have to sort out all the facts like expert detective so that we can track the crook. How you do go on, Maya? How you possibly imagine he is a crook? He looks ordinary. Criminals can look quite ordinary, smarty. Did you see the picture of Hyderabadi housebreaker in the paper yesterday? He looked like any man on the street. The monsoon broke the next day. Dark clouds accompanied by blinding flashes of lightning and rolling rolls of thunder brushed with all their fury. Flooding the streets with the heavy downpour. School was to have reopened after the summer holidays, but no traffic could move through the flooded roads and there was an unexpected holiday. To be continued. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel now.